fantastic. Hello guys, what's up? This is Dato Alif Alex and today I'll be teaching you guys on how to make this cool zooming in and zooming out uh, transition effect that called hyper zoom. So without further ado, I started. So I got my two sample clip here. We're gonna drag both this clip inside the timeline and I'm gonna crop out the clips that I don't want. So over here too. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. And then my uh, me looking at the watches. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna crop that too. It's my phone. It yeah, should be fine. All right. So um, let's say you are zooming in. Uh, first thing on the first clip here which is obviously always on your left uh, you're gonna click on this uh, event pan crop on the very last keyframe you're gonna make it zoom you know all towards inside you're gonna squish it everything as possible and then you're gonna skip all the way back to seven keyframes and you count one two three five six seven all right and then uh and uh and then you're gonna slightly shrink it like that so it's like it's like slowly uh you know going towards you know in the back of my head and then it's rapidly zooming so on the first key you're gonna set it to slow or smooth but any of these should work but for this i'm gonna hit it slow and the last keyframe we're gonna select it uh, fast make sure you check that you know make sure it's fast so very smooth in transition now on the second uh, clip here you're gonna basically just drag it all the way in a little bit here so it's kind of uh, transition between both clip here and then you're gonna add a uh, sapphire plugin which is this blur more curve uh, this plugin you need to download it and install it and I'll put the, these plugins in the descriptions for the full version so it's pretty easy you got all patches included so anyway back to the tutorial now um, on the Z disk since we are zooming in we're gonna uh, change it to uh, on the very first keyframe. Gonna make it two, so it's zooming out like that. And then um, on the wrap X and Y, you're gonna select it reflect, and then uh, quarter. Make sure this selected animated, so it's looks sort of like this. Again, seven keyframes uh, forward. One, two, three, four. And then on the ZDs, we change it to one back, and then this blur resolution into full, and that's it. And so first, just like we did it just now on the uh, event panel crop, where on the uh, first keyframe is slow and the last is fast. Now same goes to this uh, ZDs. But it's just in the opposite where the first keyframe is uh, fast and the last keyframe is slow. That's it. And then um, since it's fading in, gonna make it look kind of uh, still zooming in into the watches. Make it all the way to the back. Let's see how the video is supposed to look like. All right, as you just see the video just now, and um, oops, and um, 
I'm gonna show you on zooming out uh, transition it's the pretty same things but you just need to do it on the opposite way so let's say you are zooming out from this first clip uh, just now we're using pan and crop but this time we're gonna use the blur uh, curve but as I remember I already added into the timeline oh not yet so we're gonna edit here it is okay so here's the uh, play the effects here so again it's pretty uh, the same thing you just hit enemy on the ZDs now on the very last uh, uh, keyframe I'm gonna make it 2 so it's zooming out and then I'm gonna go all the way back to 7 keyframe and I'm gonna make it uh, 1 and then make sure the uh, wrap X and Y is reflected and on the first uh, keyframe, make sure it's full. Let me bring it out real quick. And oops, it's not full. And the last keyframe is quarter. And again, it's the same thing. Uh, slow fade on the first keyframe, and last. Uh, I mean, fast fade out on the last keyframe. So once you're done. It should be look like this. Now on the second uh, clip, uh, you're gonna use only the um, event pan and crop. You know, delete everything that we just made it. Um, you just need to zoom it rapidly inside to the watches, and then seven key frame back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make it default, and then slightly zoom in. So it's like not all the way to full sizes so it should be look like these and the, the very last uh, keyframe should make it default so it's look it's still like it's going still moving you know so again same things on the first keyframe you make it um, fast and the last keyframe is slow so let me show you what it looks like Right, so hope you guys like uh, the video just now and you supposed need to get like that and um, yeah hope you guys like it and leave some thumbs up as well as some comments and what do you guys think and one more thing that I wanna um, say that I'm very sorry for my very uh, broken English you know as far as you understand what I'm trying to say uh, it's more than enough for me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe buttons and yeah, see you guys next time on my next tutorial video. Yeah, see ya.